In this video, we're going to be going over 5.1 number patterns and relationships. A number pattern is a sequence or list of numbers that follow a certain pattern. So 1, 3, 9, 27 would be an example of a number pattern. Each number in the pattern is called a term. So in our example, the first term is 1, the second term is 3, the third term is 9, and the fourth term is 27. The first step we're going to take with analyzing this number pattern is figuring out what the pattern is, and then we're going to use that to figure out what the next three terms in the pattern are. When figuring out what the pattern is, you have to look at one term and figure out how you change the value of that term to get to the next term. When I look at this pattern, I notice that many of the terms are multiples of 3. So I'm going to look and see how our terms are related to the number 3. When I look at our first term 1 and think about what we need to change 1 to to get to 3, I would multiply 1 times 3. To change 3 to become 9, again, we would multiply 3 times 3. And then to change 9 into 27, again we would multiply by 3. So our pattern for this number pattern would be to multiply by 3. So our rule is multiply by 3. We're going to use that rule to help us figure out what the next three terms in this pattern are. Since we're multiplying by 3, we're going to take our fourth term, 27, and we're going to multiply 27 times 3. Three times seven is 21, three times two is six, plus two is eight. So 81 would be the fifth term in the sequence. To figure out what the sixth term is, we would take 81 and we would multiply that by three. Three times one is three. 3 times 8 is 24, so our next term would be 243. We want to find out what the next term is, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take 243 and we're going to multiply that by 3. 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So 729 it would be our next term. Now we could keep going, but we're going to stop at 3 extra terms. In this example, we're going to take a look at what the pattern is as well, just like in the last example. So I look at my first term, I have 1, and then it changes into 3. 6, 10, and 15. In the last example, we were multiplying, so I'm going to start by seeing if I can multiply each term by some number in order to change it into the next term. If I were to do 1 times 3 and then 3 times 3, that wouldn't work because our third term would have to be 9. Hmm, maybe let's try looking at addition instead for our rule. To go from 1 to 3, we add 2. To go from 3 to 6, we add 3. To go from 6 to 10, we add 4. And to go from 10 to 15, we add 5. Now this time, instead of adding or multiplying or subtracting or dividing by the same number, we're actually adding by one more with each term. So if we were to continue this pattern, 
for the next term we would have to add 6. If we were to add 6 to 15, our next term would be 21. Following our rule, we would have to then add 7, and 21 plus 7 is 28. And then we're going to find one more term. This time we would have to add 8. 28 plus 8 is equal to 36. Another way of looking at how we use our rule for our pattern is similar to how I just wrote it down below. So for the first term, we didn't have to add anything. We had 1. To find the second term, we took 1 and added 2, and 2 is the term that we're finding. For the third term, we take what we had from the first and the second term, and then we add 3. For the fourth term, we take what we had from the first three terms and add 4. So basically what you're doing for this is taking the value of all the previous terms and then adding the term number. So since we're finding the fourth term, we're adding 4. Sometimes we might be given two sets of numbers and we have to identify the relationship between them. In this table, we have a brother and a sister's ages and we have to figure out what is the relationship between their ages. If we take a look, when Rico is 11, his sister is 8. When Rico is 12, his sister is 9. We can figure out that Rico is three years older than his sister. So to figure out how old his sister will be when Rico is a given age, all we have to do is subtract three from whatever Rico's age is. So if Rico is 23 years old, we can figure out how old his sister is by subtracting 3. 23 minus 3 equals 20. So his sister will be 20 years old when Rico is 23. The second question is how old will Rico be when his sister is 27 years old? Now when we're going in the opposite direction, if we start with his sister's age and need to figure out what Rico's age is, we're going to add 3 to his sister's age. So if his sister is 27 years old, we're going to add 3 and figure out that Rico will be 30 years old at that point.